LSU won the opener against Kansas State. 11 strikeouts from Paul Skeens. And tonight we get the Bearcats and not. Iowa Hawkeyes in a matchup between WAC and Big Ten ball clubs. Mike Rooney, Ben McDonald joining me in the booth. My name is Chris Mykoski. And, Ben, let's start with these hot-hitting Sam Houston Bearcats returning the WAC Player of the Year. Yeah, I tell you what, the strength of their team is definitely offense. It was a team that hit 306 last year. They've kind of picked right back up where they left off, averaging 10 runs a game early in the year this year. They returned six players who hit 300 or better. And of course, you mentioned Contreras, the All-American, had a monster season for him last year, hit four. 400 with 14 homers. His 89 RBIs, second most RBIs in the entire country last year, so he brings a lot of pop back to this lineup. Well, Iowa will try to counter that with a solid pitching staff. Ty Langenberg, their opening day starter, he goes again here on Friday night. Yeah, this Iowa pitching staff is going to be fun all weekend. Ironically, that's how they're built, this Iowa team. Really good on the mound. They've been on the brink of regionals this last several years. It's really become a great program in the middle of the country under Rick Heller, and they can really spin it on the mound. Well, it's a little bit chilly here. We saw that already in the K-State LSU game where fans were bundled up, but we did get some hot hitting from LSU late in that one. We're going to see some overcoats out in the dugouts and in the stands this evening as it will dip to a little below 50 degrees and winds of over 10 miles per hour here in Round Rock, Texas. All tournament team selection in the Big Ten a year ago. He hit a team best 400 in that event. I just like 5'8", 175, hitting five hole. It's a new, you know, like, I like it as a small person myself, Chris. Like, <laughs> come on. We don't have to hit ninth. 1-1, one, one, and check back over to first. Got him. Yannick over to Davis to catch Dorigi and end the bottom of the first inning. Iowa. There's a potential, and of course, Sam Houston State is a, is a uh, NCAA team as well. Langenberg with some funny rotation on that baseball, unable to make the play. Run scores, outmade at third. Sam Houston gets on the board as Chadwick crosses the plate. Langenberg falling down, trying to make the play, can't do it, and the Cats lead 1 0. It's a good baseball league to whack. I think a very underrated baseball league. 3-2 coming. Lifted to left field. It is carrying. Foul. I thought the wind might hold that one up just enough because the wind is blowing left to right, but that ball hooking too much, and I mean just foul. And just out of our view here from our vantage point, had to turn. To our third base umpire, Chris Griffith, to look for the call. I was reading the kids on the berm, Chris. You were smart <laughs> to use the umpire. I was just reading the youngsters. Again, the 3 2. Oof. In there. Wow. Strike three. Fifth strikeout of the day for Iowa pitcher Ty Langenberg. Sam Houston leads. One to nothing, heading to the bottom of the third at Dell Diamond. And now this Sam Houston team's got my attention. Left side of the infield past a diving Tello. Redfield coming to third, and they will send him. Redfield in safely. Four to nothing. Bearcats, thanks to Miles Jefferson. Hawkeyes down to their final strike. And Dorigi. Swings through Sam Houston State. Six nothing victors over the Iowa Hawkeyes to close out day one at the Carbach Round Rock Classic. 